Well, the search continues for a suspect after a Thanksgiving Day shooting ended in a car crash. And neighbors tell Local 10 the violence in the area must come to an end. Local 10's Trent Kelly joins us live in Miami Gardens with the latest on this investigation. Trent. Yeah, Andrea, that shooting on Thanksgiving Day ending with a car crash right here along Miami Gardens Drive and Northwest 17th Avenue. Two men injured in all of that, including one who had to be airlifted to the hospital for treatment. Now, as police are continuing to investigate, we're hearing from a woman who says she heard those gunshots. She spoke to the one and only, provided we did not show her face. We, we on our back porch and everybody heard shots and we just laid down because we didn't know what the hell was going on. Neighbors still in shock after a Thanksgiving Day shooting in Miami Gardens. Police getting the call around 6 Thursday night as many families were settling into their holiday dinner. This is bad. It's awful. I was scared half the death. Neighbors hearing two bursts of gunfire. I heard six shots. Six. It started shooting. Shot maybe another... Another 15, 17 shots. It was over 20 rounds out here. After arriving, police say they found a car covered in more than a dozen bullet holes that had crashed into a tree. Two men were inside, including one suffering from gunshot wounds. Paramedics airlifting him to Rider Trauma in Miami, while the other was taken to a separate hospital after being injured in the crash. It's not even safe on a holiday to go to the store. The neighbor we spoke with says her own son was murdered just last year at Rolling Oaks Park nearby. These people, they don't care what they do, who they injure, they don't care. They don't have no decency for life. This is awful. She's now hoping someone with info in this latest case will come forward. If you see something, say something. How y'all gonna stop? How is it they gonna ever learn that you don't, no one has the right to take no one else's life? You don't have that right. And we know that man who was airlifted on Thursday was last said to be in critical condition at Jackson Memorial Hospital. So far, the condition of that other man has not been released. And again, the motive for this Thanksgiving Day shooting still remains a mystery. If you, though, have any information that could help detectives out as they continue to investigate, contact Miami Gardens Police. For now, that is the latest live from Miami Gardens. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.